this is your first time here, my name's Stefan. I crashed my C6 Corvette directly into a wall going nearly 80 miles an hour. And in hopes of returning to the track, I bought an E92 completely side unseen to get back on track. Me and my buddy Gabe flew almost a thousand miles away to pick this thing up, drove it back home, uncovered the damage, and what we found underneath all the duct tape and sh was just so much, so much damage. The car needed an entire quarter panel replacement. It needed the entire section under the door replaced. And today we're slicing and dicing, baby. <laughs> Here it is. This is one of those classic situations where it gets worse before it gets better. This car looks absolutely wrecked right now. Um, we went ahead and made the cuts. So we've got a cut here, cut here, and this is kind of to minimize the seams, right? Rather than making a giant cut here along the bottom, they try to minimize that so that the patching is very minimal. And then this cut here is gonna be hidden, obviously, behind the door, and then the rest is gonna be just pinch welds right here in the trunk section. So, by the time that it's done, you shouldn't even be able to tell that this has ever been replaced. One thing I never really expanded on about this M3 story was the absolute disaster of a road trip getting this car home from Seattle. What should have been a simple 13 hour trip from Seattle to Salt Lake City turned into two days after the car died on the side of the freeway and an absurd amount of rain. Now, normally rain, not a big deal, right? Well, again, I bought this car with no driver or passenger side windows. They were removed by the previous owner for weight reduction, so lucky me. <laughs> Bro, I, whatever it takes, dude. <laughs> Frozen, dude, I gotta buy this. Like I should win an award for the amount of stupidity that went into this decision, but what I didn't miss on was making sure we had maximum visibility despite being soaked and freezing cold. We also definitely didn't share a blanket from a gas station. <coughs> Dude. Dude. Dude, can you even see what you look like right now? Is this it? I look like I'm like transporting like the elderly. <laughs> like I feel like I need a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> I choose Bosch Focus Series wipers on all my cars because they're built for the worst conditions, especially at nighttime. They wipe at the optimum angle to reduce glare and help your eyesight cut through the dark, stormy rain or whatever weather life throws at you. So if you replace anything this time of year besides a quarter panel, replace your windshield wipers with a set of Bosch Focus or Envision Series. They're my favorites. You can learn more at the link in my bio. Perfect. We did it. Nice job. But check this out, this is one of the craziest parts. We literally skinned this entire rear quarter panel away. Again, you guys saw this thing when it was complete. We pulled this off, which is why this looks a lot like the quarter panel on the M3 because we're using this as a donor. We peeled this thing off and the process is super interesting. It was all pinch welded right here along these seams. What they have to do is drill out all those individual welds and then when we put it back on, they use a spot weld technique where they literally fill in all these individual little holes, Frankenstein it back on, and it should start to look somewhat normal. Then of course, we've got the old door here that we're gonna kinda use as a donor for the parts like the mirror, the handle, the hinges, and everything. And then our new door here, which you guys saw in one of the previous videos, um, and this thing is also literally just a skin. It is a skeleton of a door, nothing more, nothing less. And it is insanely light. Again, we opted for fiberglass because this in comparison to this is a difference of like a thousand dollars, like 1500 bucks. You don't pay a significant penalty and weight savings and fiberglass either. It's really close to carbon fiber. It's not quite as strong. It's not quite as durable, but it is nearly as light and it is significantly cheaper. And at the end of the day, it's, it's a race car, so we're, we're going for cheap here. Plus, it's gonna be wrapped anyway. We've gotta get the hood installed as well. That's gonna be a major weight savings, which is something I was actually kind of concerned about because there's a lot of weight savings in this car. We dropped a ton of weight in comparison to stock, but a lot of the weight savings ends up kind of being towards the rear end of the car, which worries me that it's a little bit too front heavy. I don't wanna upset the balance of the car too much. It has nearly perfect weight distribution from the factory. I've heard that the diffs and the rear subframes in these cars are pretty heavy, so I don't know if it's something that I necessarily have to worry about, but since so much weight is being stripped, we're going with the Lexan windows back here, fiberglass trunk. I worry it's gonna be really nose heavy, but we'll see, we're gonna get all these parts back on and then we're gonna take it back to the scales and see how she stacks up. The other thing to consider too is we're gonna have a massive rear wing back here, which is gonna generate a lot of downforce. Granted, at lower speeds, a lot less downforce, but at higher speeds, I think the balance of the car is gonna be significantly better having all of that downforce weight here in the back. Don't 
be deceived at how easy these guys make it look. These panels are lining up absolutely perfect because they took the time to like absolutely dial this in, all the cuts, all the fitments so that it lines up nearly perfectly. We're just moments away from getting it welded on. Even just this bit right here, look at how well this all lines up. It's absolutely insane. Once this is all welded in, it's gonna be like nearly seamless. officially masked off we laid down the primer and it is looking absolutely dope look at this you like literally can't see the seams at all the seam was somewhere in this vicinity absolutely gone we had another seam here absolutely gone another seam down here absolutely gone so we're gonna go through a couple rounds of sanding get this thing completely smoothed out and then it's on to paint baby And gentlemen, there she is. <laughs> it's it's finally done. It literally took them almost no time at all. Mega shout out to City of Salt. If you're local here in Utah, these guys do absolutely insane work. Be sure to come check them out. But what's gonna be super funny about this is that like literally all of this paint right here is brand new. All of this paint on literally the entire rest of the car is so old, so it, it doesn't match, but that's okay because the whole car is gonna be wrapped anyway. It's not really gonna matter at the end of the day. What's super nice too is that now that all this glass is out, all of this roll cage section that hasn't ever been painted before, we can finally hit with a little bit of paint. So it's gonna clean all this up super nice. And we're off to the races, boys, quite literally. Uh, because the only thing we have left is a race, <laughs> a race between now and when the season starts next month in March, we have our first NASA event and between now and then, we have to put the entire car together. We gotta put glass in, we've got the Lexan windows going in here, the rear glass back in, the door back on, the coilovers on, the arrow on. We've also got a set of new wheels and tires coming for this guy because these ones are absolutely clapped. But check out these seams or literally, or the lack thereof, like literally, look, you can't see anything here. You see nothing here where it was cut, you see nothing Thing here where it was cut it's like I'm so blown away that you can do that to a car you can literally cut almost half of it off and put it all back together and we got a check engine light <laughs> I don't know what it could be for this car is almost stock besides besides the titanium exhaust <laughs> you can hear the exhaust so much better